In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the third step to an effective bunch tight end offense in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become better at Madden 21. If you want to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to hit the subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. It is completely free to subscribe to the channel, and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date on the latest tips and strategies right here on the channel. Now in this video, we're talking about the five sets or five play concepts uh, for success in Madden 21. And the first step is a power play or a Lombardi sweep. It's a play that you can go to that is just very, very good against pretty much everything, right? It has a power play element to it. It's one of the top, you know, maybe five or 10 plays in the entire game. It's a Lombardi sweep in the fact that it is truly a simple play, but it's very, very powerful. For the bunch tight end, we talk about that as being the PA all cross or the PA boot over. The second type of play that you want to have in your arsenal is you want to have a play that you can go to whenever you need to basically change that up. Whenever the defense starts to really kind of key in on that one play, you want to have a counter play that looks very similar to the power play, but actually goes in a different direction. For the bunch tight end, we've got the tight end corner uh, for that. And then in this video, we're talking about the third element of that, and that is the ability to have a constraint theory play or a play that looks very similar to both of those first two that are mentioned, but this play really takes advantage of a specific type of coverage. Maybe it's a cover two beater, maybe it's a cover four beater, uh, maybe it's just a slip screen or a little quarterback draw, just something to kind of force the defense to have to go back to playing a very sound defensive scheme. In Madden 21, for example, we really want to force our opponent to have to use deep halves on both sides of the field. And so that's why the inside switch is a natural choice for this from the bunch tight end. Now, if you want to learn this entire offense, I actually have a full gun bunch tight end offensive ebook, and it literally walks you through the entire offensive scheme step-by-step step against some of the best defenses in the game. We have written breakdowns that kind of walk you through how to set up your plays we have video tutorials that show you how to run them and then we actually have film study analysis where we actually show you how to use these plays and break down why they work in a real um, head-to-head -head competitive matchup and so if you want to get that guide it is available in the description of this video but like I said the play that we're going to focus on today is from inside switch and this is a very very good play specifically for um, situations where your opponent might like to call a lot of cover three uh, Mabel type of coverage um, and so what's going to happen here pretty simple we're going to take the triangle receiver and we're just going to put him on a little streak we're going to smart route the square receiver and smart route the x receiver right here just like so that's pretty much all we're going to do and then we're just going to motion him out just a little step to the left side and what you're going to notice here is you're going to have one of several different options now depending on the hash mark that you're on um, what you're going to notice let me shift over here to the short side for just a moment i do want to talk about a little cover three bomb that you can do out of this and basically what you want to do is you want to run this to the short side uh, and what i mean by that is as you can see here I'm on the left side of the field or the left hash and my three wide receivers are to the left. So you basically want the three receivers to the side of the field. It is that you're gonna be wanting to bomb the defense. So as you'll see right here, the triangle receiver, uh, whenever he runs up the seam, as you can see right here, it's gonna basically be a nice little rack catch over the top. And what's basically happening on this play is the defense is essentially going to bite down onto the little square receiver uh, little post route and what that's going to leave in behind it is this triangle receiver that's going to basically be wide open as you see here and you don't even have to motion him as you can see right there we're able to get it without the motion but you still you know again either way you know you're going to have success let me show it to you really quickly with the circle receiver i'm not sure if you can do it with the circle receiver but it would be good a good little step or a good little thing um, just to be aware of if you can do that so again we're just going to do something as simple as this concept right here and basically you're gonna see that the circle receiver um, doesn't actually work out well for us on that. So we're gonna not do that. We're gonna just use the, the triangle receiver. But the real beauty of this play is also found in the fact that you have a lot of other options that are super, super effective. So one of those things is one of the popular concepts for people whenever they're defending this offense is to basically take this guy right here, put him in like a little hook curl, and then maybe put this guy in like a three rec, just like this right here. And the beauty of this is that the running back route is actually going to get wide open and we're going to be able to hit that. So I'm going to show you that here in just a moment, but we'll show you that real quick here. And again, the play we're calling from this is inside switch. Like I said, if you want to learn the other plays, I'm going to leave a link to my uh, full defensive guide in the description of this video for you. 
But again, just really quickly here. So if they don't have a hard flat defender on the right side, or even if they do, what's really cool about the running back route is you can throw this really quick, get out there and get a couple quick yards against really any defense, okay? So that's one of the real cool parts of this play is that you can really force you know the defense's hand they have to come up you have to force them to kind of come up and and really play underneath as you can see right here and the cool part is you can do this little truck animation against the blitz so if you're getting a lot of pressure this is another reason why this is such a good option now back to the bomb for just a moment um, one of the things that you're going to notice in madden this year is that one of the ways that you can prevent a lot of the bombs is through putting your outside corners in the deep half so what you're going to notice is we're going to do that same route combination that we did in the beginning but the only difference is i've put the corners on the outside in the deep halves and so as you can see right here they run with him really really well but as you can see the square receiver is now wide open another receiver that you're going to notice is getting wide open for whenever they do something like this adjustment is should be the tight end or the running back and so i'll show you what that looks like again we've smart rented both of the the square receiver and the x receiver and if you just watch here basically that tight end route is going to run himself wide open as you can see on that sideline he gets really really good uh separation now i haven't talked a lot about running this play to the short side of the field the cover three bomb is not as good to this side of the field but what is really is still effective is actually going to surprise you. The tight end route probably doesn't look like it should be that effective on the right side of the field, but it's actually much, much better on this side. As you can see right here with a shorter space and a shorter window to run, it really forces the defense to have to bring their zone drops down. Well, the problem with that is that if they bring their zone drops down, what's going to happen is we're gonna be able to come back and continue to hit the boot over route combination pretty much all at will against this, this team. Now, again, let's talk about an outside quarter adjustment. This is another popular adjustment from this is to simply um, outside quarter your player on the um, on the right side. So I just wanna show you what that would look like here. As you'll see, the tight end route is still open on the sideline. So this play all in all is a great play. And the reason why is because it really forces your opponent um, to just have to you know change it up. If they're perennial man coverage, this is a perennial play buster, really. It, it really truly is. And what I mean by that is that really any kind of meta defense that people are gonna run, this kind of play is really, really good for changing it up on them. So I would just encourage you to get the entire guide. It's gonna show you how to run everything as a cohesive system, as opposed to a collection of money plays. I wanna thank you for watching this video. And if you have any questions, feel free to text me. My number is 208. 218-6900. And again, if you want to get the entire offensive guide, I will leave a link to it in the description and you can get that for just $15.